Welcome back to Extinction. Huge thank you to Halo Follower for making that awesome animation. Link to his channel in the description. But this is Extinction 1.1. New scarabs, new long swords, new nuke effects, tons of minor fixes and visual tweaks. This update is awesome. The footage on screen that you're seeing right now was from custom games on my Discord server. So if you want to play some Extinction custom games, host lobbies, join lobby, link to my Discord server is in the description. Hope to see you there and play some games with you. Oh yeah, I've got a Patreon too if you want to support my Halo mods or if you just want to support my YouTube channel, what I'm doing here with the Halo mods in the Halo community. Link to my Patreon is in the description as well. So let's jump right into Extinction and see what's new. So to start this off, I wanted to show you, before I show off the Longsword and the Scarabs and the other big boys, this is the Fuel Rod Ghost. Now, originally in the first release of Extinction, it was just looked like a regular ghost, but I've gone and given it a gold sheen, nice little Fuel Rod Cannon, and when you fire, yeah, the Fuel Rod Cannon is actually what fires. This is a little bit of an homage to the original Extinction, but with a bit of my own recoloring added. So now the Brute Ghost has a little bit of a buddy. Okay, and now the Longsword. So the Longsword I have completely redone in the new Extinction update. So if you go ahead and hop into the Longsword, first things first, you will immediately notice it flies completely differently. And it has a boost as well. I added engine effects to it to try and replicate the Longsword's cool engine effects and make them all enhanced. It now fires weapons properly uh, from different little points on the front of it. And this is all done because of my long swords on Long Night of Solace mod from a little bit ago. But uh, next thing I want to show you is the new nuke. I have redone the nuke quite a lot. And well, let's just see what it looks like. There it goes. Beautiful. Now ignoring Windows update there, that is the new nuke. Massive, massive dust wave covers everything. And uh, I've actually added a delayed EMP effect. As you can see from this clip here, the EMP will completely knock things back and basically disable all vehicles within a very large radius, even if you're not within the damage radius. So that is the new nuke and the new long sword, which I'm very excited about and think will be a lot of fun to play in the new update. Next up, let's go ahead and check out the new scarab. Now I did a lot of changes to the Scarab. It looks and functions about the same. However, it is much easier to drive and I have done a very controversial change and repositioned the camera. So let's go ahead and drive the Scarab by hopping into the driver's seat here. Now you'll notice immediately the camera is in a very different spot. Now I said this was gonna be controversial because I know a lot of people are gonna like the higher up camera view, but not only does this provide better aiming, it lets you see the effects better, and it also is, in my opinion, just a nicer perspective to have. You can still look up, you can still hit tons of aerial targets, but you can also see who's on the Scarab, and you get a more in-depth and, in my opinion, a cooler view of, uh, of everything. So that is what the new Scarab looks like. If you notice, my turning is pretty much flawless here. You can turn the Scarab very easily now, where before it was seriously a chore and people thought it was completely busted, understandably so. So that is the new Scarab. Also, you may have noticed I got in the driver's seat in the proper location now. You'll notice there's a lot of changes to vehicles uh, with little subtle stuff like that. Another big change I made was to every vehicle in the entire game can now be destroyed. So you can play Slayer on Extinction now. Due to a technical issue, I wasn't able to make vehicles get destroyed and kill the drivers. But now not only can you uh, kill the drivers, play Slayer and get points, Elites can also pilot all of the UNSC vehicles. They can get in everything except the back seats of the Pelican for now. Might do a hotfix to fix that in the future, but they can pilot the Pelican, the Saber. They can even get in the turret in the back, minus getting in and riding the Pelican, which is exclusive for Spartans for now. Basically, everything is destructible. Everything counts for points, and Slayer is a totally functional and supported game mode now in, uh, in Extinction. So those are the vehicles. Now, of course, new other things have been added, including the nuke launcher, which is slightly updated to accommodate the new nuke effects, which is very fun. As you can see here, I'll fire myself off a nuke and as long as we don't die, we should be able to admire those effects one more time without the Windows update. Boom! My shields get taken down, falcons go flying away, dust cloud covers the map for 
five to 10 seconds and the new effects are there for you to see. Now, next up, what's new in the scenery department? So over in scenery, everything is basically as it was before. I fixed the shield door, so now it renders properly, but uh, there are some new things. So while this is one of my new favorite props, uh, it does not have collision, but it's really just for really cool scenery. This is the spire from tip of the spear. Like I said, no collision, you can just fly through it, unfortunately, but it is very pretty and could make for like, like a very nice scenery prop in little destinations across the forge maps that you create. On top of that, I found this cool thing in the game files. This is called the Covenant Stealth Tower. It's again, just a scenery prop. The shield here doesn't have collision, but I thought it was so cool looking and that you could make some cool little covenant bases out of it that I absolutely had to include it. And I, I really like it. This one does have collision on most of it. Not the bottom here, but the uh, main section of it does have collision on the uh, top. So you can mess around with that, which is pretty cool and hopefully not get blinded by this uh, beautiful shield effect here. Um, I've also added on top of that, a new super carrier. This super carrier that you see in the distance is the one with the hangar bays that are pretty much there. Um, but there is a new super carrier that I'll show you now. So this is what I'm now calling the Super Carrier HD. I decided not to overwrite the old one because it has hangers, as you can see there, while this one does not. They're closed up and uh, like metallic, but the textures and everything are far higher quality. It's more silvery and properly colored. It's got lights and things. It's very beautiful. So I added this in as an alternative so that you can use it instead of the more purple, slightly lower resolution version of the uh, Super Carrier. It's got nice bump maps and stuff. So if you wanna use that as an alternative, you now have the option and it's quite cool. So that is a nice little addition that I felt was uh, hopefully welcome by you guys. Now, going back to vehicles very quickly, I did rebalance a lot of stuff. I got a lot of uh, feedback that the Saber and the Seraph were too weak. Uh, that they would get destroyed too easily. So I upped their health a decent bit. Uh, so they are now a lot more sturdy. It can survive a lot more battles. And the dreaded Heretic Banshee, I, I nerfed it now. It's still a very strong vehicle, very effective. But what I did is made it so that while you're boosting, you can no longer fire. You could do that before. It was totally overpowered. And in most fights, you really could not beat the Heretic Banshee due to its insane speed, maneuverability, and its super powerful weapon. So now it is still quite strong. The weapons are the same, but you just can't fire them while boosting. You become a lot slower and you kind of have to do strafe runs similar to the Saber and the Seraph now to be effective. So that is one of the new additions to that. Another change I made is to the Tyrant. It now locks onto vehicles. I felt that this was a really underpowered and underused vehicle in Extinction. So I added health to it to make it uh, destroy instantly. The driver dies, of course. Um, but basically the projectile on it is a bit faster. Um, and you can lock onto vehicles, which will hopefully make this a lot more powerful in the sandbox and make for a nice little base defense. So that is a kind of balance change, but also a technical change because I had to rework a lot of the damage values, its health and everything, how it takes damage, stuff like that. So hopefully the Tyrant will be more reasonable. Essentially, this update is all about making bugs fixed, balancing things out, and making sure that the entire game of Extinction runs well. So what I'm going to do now is leave you with some really cool highlights of a game of Extinction that I played on my Discord server. Uh, that is pretty, pretty fun. And if, of course, you want to join in on custom games, host your own. Link to my Discord server is in the description. One last thing I'll leave you with. There is an Easter egg on this map. Only the host will see it. Uh, but if you can find the secret control panel that I've hidden far, far away in the map, then you can experience a very interesting Easter egg that is a callback to Halo Custom Edition. So hope you can find that. But uh, anyway, let's hop back on to the gameplay that you saw earlier. <laughs> well, these two people are freaking out over their scare being stolen. They don't know what to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I can do this right? all day. We have to sacrifice it. Oh, don't tell me you're about to do what I think you're gonna do. I'll That's all save that we you. can do. Never <laughs> I got the you best know it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh. Bail. You got a heavy sniper, that was a close one. Oh wait, no you didn't. Oh, I'm Don't get too close to the scarab! Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I had three people on me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that that was that was just too damn cool. 